Welcome to the Occupational Safety Leadership Podcast, episode number 151. We're going to continue our uh, journey on safety metrics. Uh, a couple um, episodes back, we talked about whether to keep a metric or ditch a metric. If you didn't really think it that um, things were going well, let's talk about getting back on track on this one. Um, this is this is when we have a metric. We can see that we're really not getting what we thought we were going to get out of it, but we decide as a team that it has value, we're going to continue going forward with this um, metric out there. So just a little introduction. Metrics have to provide value and help to the uh, the organization to measure the safety performance out there. So the last thing that we want to do is give people another task of something to do and to just give it to them for the sake of giving it to them, saying, well, Corporate said we need three goals. We got three goals. That's it. We're ready to go. So think about these metrics first. Communicate these um, metrics. Make sure they have value out there then. So in this case, we've decided to keep to, to keep the, um, the metric going. Has value and all that stuff then. So the first thing I do is that I look at how it's communicated to the workforce out there. Uh, I have done a couple of uh, metrics that I that in hindsight, we were not getting the value out of it. So we kind of sat down and started to peel back that onion and say, all right, so where where's the gap in the in, in um, the metrics that we have? Now, now I have had metrics that uh, we sat down and after a while said, we're just not getting value. This is a waste of time and time and effort. We're going to switch to something else. But what I did find is that when it had uh, value to it, we decided to keep it, that one of the biggest uh, issues was just how is it communicated out there? Or better yet, is it even communicated? So as a young man before the days of the uh, internet, I kind of thought, well, if I take some metrics and I post it on the board, well, that counts. I, I just just told everybody, everybody's going to read this board. You know, everything I say is super important. They're going to drop everything and come read this. You know, everybody is just inundated with just trying to get their job done. So it doesn't mean that they don't want to help. It doesn't mean that they don't see the value in it. At times, if, if folks are just uh, overwhelmed with just the message out there from work, from from other people, I like to think we are the most important uh, people out there, but I know that we're not, you know, so um, we have to go back and, and really figure out how is this being communicated, you know, if it's being communicated, is it stuck in middle management? You know, everybody agrees on it, comes down from the uh, president and the VPs and all that, it goes to the directors and then stops, you know, or vice versa. Is it something that one or two people do a great job of getting it out to their group, you know, and other groups, uh, that person hasn't even opened up the email. They haven't been to the meetings. They, they, they don't even know that it's a, a metric out there that even has to be communicated. So we want to look at where this message is out there then. So, and one of the, the big things that, that I found that I have to do is to go back and follow up, you know, and obviously I can't be the one to go back and follow up every single person, every, every single time, but just go back and kind of see how this message is getting from point A to point B, you know, think, think about when we were kids, we, we would sit in a circle and somebody would tell, a, uh, tell something to the person next to us. And by the time I got to the end, it was a completely different message out there. You know, that same thing can happen with metrics. Now, you certainly don't have 25 people telling telling the same story, and then it gets morphed. Um, but if you just go down on the uh, floor, you walk the uh, line, and you ask folks about something, uh, they might have got a totally different intent about what this metric is and how we're going to measure it and do things. And, uh, and that's just one of the tough things about communication is that we always think we're communicating great and um, everybody understands everybody. That's not always the case. So go back, see how this whole thing is communicated. Take action and don't just say, well, we decided on it. That's up to the supervisors to do the supervisor's job, you know, and all that stuff. Because, again, I like to think we're the most important people out there. 
you know, I don't think anybody's getting hurt on purpose, but there's a lot of, um, a lot of things are tugging for their attention out there. And you're just one of X departments, people and everything else that's trying to get the time, attention and money of people then. So, so go back, help out in this case then. You can't be the one who supervises, who goes back and literally talks to every person. Go back and figure out how that message got out there. Talk to that person and get that message out there then. So that is it for today's episode. Nice, short, and sweet. So episode 151 is complete. Today we talked about getting back on tracks. We started a metric. We didn't really see the the value in it. We sat down as an organization. We said it has value. We're going to continue down this road. So let's go back. We get on track and we figure out exactly where that disconnect is out there. So there can be a lot of places where that disconnect is. But over the years, gosh, I hate to put a number on it, but maybe 95%, I'd, I'd say, is going to be the communication factor that's out there. So. Uh, Episode 151 is complete. I want to thank you for joining me. My name is Dr. David Ayers. Thank you and have a safe day.